This kit contains a dropper and colored water. You will use the dropper to adjust the level of the green liquid in both manometers. You want the upper level of the liquid to touch the black markings on the manometer. Note that the amount of liquid is equal in both manometers. Take the enclosed syringe and pull its plunger back halfway. Insert the syringe into the opening of the container. Gently push the air out of the syringe with the plunger. By doing this, you are inserting air into the container. Note the changes in the two manometer readings. The pressure inside the container is now higher than the pressure of the outside atmosphere. You can measure the differences in the pressure by the different heights of the liquid in both sides of each manometer. Take out the syringe and note that the pressures inside the container and outside are now equal again. Once again, pull the plunger back halfway. Insert it into the container opening, but this time, continue pulling the plunger back out towards you. Now you are pumping air out from inside the container into the syringe. Note the change in the levels of the liquid in the manometers. The pressure inside the container is now lower than outside. Again, the differences in pressure are the differences in the height of the liquid. Another observation you should make is that in both experiments, the readings in the top and lower manometers are the same. This indicates that in air, unlike in water, the difference in pressures between top and bottom is very small, beyond the accuracy of this measuring tool. In the next experiment, you will see what happens when air is heated in a sealed container. Close the opening on the side of the container with the special red seal. Assemble the battery holder as follows. Insert the round part of the holder into the square hole. The round end will go around the mouth of the container. Take the cap of the container and ensure that the bulb is screwed in properly. Close the bottle with the cap. Make sure the cap is screwed on gently, but tightly. Next, connect a 9-volt battery and note that the bulb lights up. Rest the battery on its holder. Wait approximately 5 to 10 minutes. When this time has elapsed, you will notice a difference between the liquid levels in the two sides of the manometer.